My name is Maggie, um, I'm nine, and I wonder how autopilot works and what the contribute to science is. My name is Chris Johnson, and I'm the director of UW Flight Simulation Laboratory. An autopilot is a flight control system that allows a pilot to fly an airplane without continuous hands-on control of the airplane. An auto flight system alleviates the pilot from continuous control so that they can focus on more higher order tasks, such as navigating, communicating with air traffic control, and planning for weather contingencies, and rerouting associated with anything that could come up in a sort of emergency circumstance. An auto flight system works by sending signals to the flight control system. The pilot inputs what type of mode they want to be, like heading hold mode, they push a button, altitude hold mode, they push a different button, and the airplane will hold a specific heading, like 360 for north or 180 for south. Uh, if it wants to hold a specific heading, it pushes altitude hold mode, and it'll hold a specific altitude, 3,000 feet, 8,000 feet, 37,000 feet. More sophisticated auto flight systems can actually maintain a navigational course. So if you program a GPS to maintain a specific course, the auto flight system will actually take the desired turns to get from point A to point B. So you can think of an autopilot as an extra crew member. Pilots do three things when they fly the airplane. They aviate, that's actual hands-on control, stick and rudder control. They navigate, which is actually planning a route of course and they communicate. They have to communicate with air traffic control. They have to look at their onboard systems to maintain uh, system status of the mechanical components of the aircraft, and they actually have to plan for weather contingencies. So what the autopilot does is it alleviates the pilot from actually aviating the hands-on control. 